hello guys we are doing the vitic reaction and this is a part two of that and as i mentioned in my previous video in part one that i'll be talking about how elites are made in vitic reaction basically elites act as a nucleophilic part in the vitic reaction and the electrophilic part is carbonyl compounds whether aldehyde or ketone so let's have a look at it how elites are formed in step one it's a sn2 reaction basically that involves alkyl halides with phosphines to give you the phosphonium salt so this is a triphenyl phosphine the lone pair of phosphorus acts as a nucleophilic part and it attacks on this electrophilic carbon and this bromine group leaves it's exactly the sn2 reaction that's how you will understand in the alkyl halides reactions so as you know that nitrogen and phosphorus <coughs> excuse me are belonging to the same group group 5 and this the lone pair of this phosphorus attacks on this carbon and the bromine leaves in a SN2 reaction and you get this phosphonium salt as a product and bromide anion as a leaving group. What happens in the next step a base comes into the play it could be n-butyl lithium or any base so the CH2 next to this positively cation phosphonium there this is acidic now base picks this proton and generates a negative charge here on this carbon so it's a nine now you have a positive and a negative charge in the same system that's why we are call calling it elite all right so now if you closely look at this we have a positive charge at the phosphorus and a negative charge at carbon atom all right so this is a resonance stabilized so this negative charge can go inside to make a double bond between carbon and phosphorus to remove altogether all the charges and you will get this thing so these are the two uh, resonance forms of a elite and this is how elites are formed in vitic reactions you could select any alkyl halide based on your requirements of synthesis so what kind of alkene you need how many carbons you need so based on that you can choose what type of alkyl halide you need i mean you need a one carbon based alkyl halide or two or three in this case it's three but you can always pick of any choice it could be one two three four five but it should be a primary alkyl halide you know because it's hard to go under sn2 reaction when you have a tertiary alkyl halide but of course sometimes you can proceed with the sn2 reaction when you have a secondary alkyl halide so the choice of alkyl halide provides you the tool to prepare the chain length or a size of carbons in the vitic reactions to convert aldehyde and ketones into alkenes so in the next video i'll be talking about the mechanism of vitic reactions thanks for watching bye